and this is a CNN News 18 exclusive news break. Now, Avtar Singh Khanda died last night. So, we're getting this exclusive breaking news right now. Avtar Singh Khanda died last night. Remember, Avtar Singh Khanda is a UK-based head of uh, K Group who died at City Hospital Birmingham in UK at about uh, 12.45 today. Uh, and uh, he died of blood cancer. Now, Avtar Singh Khanda, who is a KLF terrorist and handler of Amritpal Singh, was hospitalized in London after detection of blood cancer. He was on life support system in a multi-speciality hospital of London. After this blood cancer, one cloud is uh, burst and whole body got poisoned due to this burst. And uh, he, remember, he is also, he was also accused of training sick youths of uh, live bomb and IED training. In fact, it was Khanda who established Amritpal Singh in Punjab after death of Musewala. So we have CNN News 18's Abhishek Jha joining us. Abhishek, can you tell us more about Av Avtar Singh Khanda and uh, his death? So uh, Avtar Singh Khanda was a UK-based Khalistani separatist. Uh, he has been responsible for many instances of instigating violence uh, and separatist feeling among Sikhs in, in the diaspora. In fact, uh, the latest incident was in March when Indian High Commission in London was attacked. Uh, and they, the separatist group tried to, uh, you know, tear down Indian flag that was, that was uh, you know, unfolding at uh, the High Commission. And Avtar Singh Khanda was believed to be the person who tried to bring down the Indian flag. He has been ill, he's been sick, and he's been getting treatment for... Uh, blood cancer for, uh, you know, in, in recent weeks, but now it seems that uh, after a prolonged illness, he has now finally died. Uh, his uh, separatist element, he was supposed to, you know, organize and mobilize youth uh, much, and Amritpal Singh, the recent times we have seen how much of chaos he has created in the state of Punjab, was also believed to be one of his disciples or one of his followers. So he is... Uh, believed to have been have been instrumental in creating many more separatist leaders and small uh, you know units uh, which uh, instigated or propagated anti india sentiment and pro khalistani sentiment across uh, india and in other parts of the world as well abhishek how did khanda establish amritpal singh in punjab so he has been in touch with many youth in punjab who wanted some sort of fame or some uh, or who had some, you know, alignment as uh, of uh, Khalistani ideology. Uh, he used to get in touch with them and radicalize them. It is believed that Mithpal Singh was living abroad uh, before, a few months uh, before he came back to India and tried to establish himself as a spiritual and religious leader of Khalistani group. Uh, but before that, he ha was probably in touch with uh, Avtar Singh Khanda, who was trying to radicalize many youth from Punjab and in other parts of the world, also including UK, USA, and other. He was also part of Babar Khalsa, uh, you know, and that is an extremist organization. So this is not the uh, only person he was trying to radicalize. Amit Pal Singh was probably his brightest disciple or brightest follower. But we have seen many more incidences of uh, Khalistani group happening across continents, uh, targeting Indian communities, targeting Indian establishment, Indian embassies, high commissions. Uh, and uh, clearly, Avtar Singh Khanda was one of the uh, major elements behind all such attacks. He was last seen during the March attack of Indian High Commission in London, uh, you know, trying to bring down the Indian flag that was on to the top of the building. Uh, and since then, he was uh, under arrest, and now he was uh, being treated for his illness of blood cancer, and it is now being reported that he is being uh, dead because of his prolonged illness. All right, Abhishek, thank you so much for giving us all those details. Right now, we're getting some...